One of the reasons why we feel sad, frustrated, angry, disappointed when we scroll through the newsfeed is because we see people having stuff that we don't. We see people having amazing experiences and feelings that we don't or we think we don't. So the whole emphasis when checking out posts from other people is on the things you don't have or think you don't have. Just because someone looks happy doesn't mean that you're, ha that you're less happy, but you automatically think that just because they post more about it and you don't. Do you know those examples of, of couples who post every day photos, videos, quotes, and they love each other and they're always out and about and they're smiling and you know, posting quotes for one another and then suddenly it just stops and then after a while you hear that they have separated and you think to yourself, why, why didn't I know that? Why didn't you post about that? I need some closure as well. You guys were posting about each other in your relationship like for months and I was following that and then suddenly you stop. You see, but they don't post about that, right? It's, it's not that the challenges or the problems they post. It's, it's, it's that happiness, that love that they want to display. So a lot of times they're not happier than you. They just post about it more often. So again, you can question. The more you post about it, is that a good sign? So don't focus on the lack. And that's what you do automatically when you scroll through the newsfeed. You compare yourself to other people's lives. And they always look happier and they always seem to have better houses, better gadgets, better cars, better shoes. So if you want to improve your life, then the best thing you can do is to compare yourself to your yesterday self and not to what other people have. Because other people always have more things. There's always someone who has more things than you. There's always someone who looks happier than you. Even if you're happier than a person, that other person looks happier just because of the amount of posts that they post on social media. So don't play this comparison game, and definitely not with these, these, these characters you see online, these personas, because that's not their real selves, that's not their real lives. So definitely don't do that. But you do it automatically when you scroll through the newsfeed. You automatically see someone enjoying their family, or having kids, and you don't, and you're like, oh, I don't have kids. Or you see someone living in, in, in that beautiful country, or in that beautiful island, and you don't. So don't think that they are more happier than you just because they have more things or just because they post more about it. So compare yourself to your yesterday self. Focus on what you want. If you feel a specific lack in your life and you want to go after it, it's because you want to go after it and not because some other person has achieved it. You want to figure out for yourself if that's important to you. If you have specific objectives that matter to you, that connect to your values, then definitely go for it. But then compare yourself to your yesterday self. Have you learned? more today than you did yesterday? Have you, did you, are you taking action? Are you moving forward? That's the question you want to ask yourself and ignore the news feed on any social media channel.